Hey everybody, good morning, it's Rob Muffet. Happy New Year. It's going to be a really great New Year, guys. 2019 is going to be the best one yet. Let's get started. This video is about uh, free boats on Facebook in Florida. Free Facebook Florida boats. Um, I I like uh, I like Craigslist, but there's so many scoundrels and crooks and scallywags on <laughs> on uh, Craigslist. I don't know if I want to buy or sell things on Craigslist anymore. So I, I someone told me about Facebook, which I'm not a big fan of Zuckerberg, but <laughs> he always reminds me of like a young Mr. Burns from from The Simpsons. Uh, but uh, they do have a marketplace now, and the cool thing about the marketplace on Facebook is you can kind of see who you're dealing with. But uh, I thought it'd be fun to see what they had, and I looked up boats, and I was amazed by all the free boats on Facebook in the marketplace in Florida, and I thought that'd be a cool video. And at the end of this video, I'm going to have a bunch of resources, uh, books that are really good on fiberglass repair, boat repair, and a really wonderful book on old outboard motor repair. In fact, the outboard motor book is so great. If you bought that book first, you'd, you'd want to go find a boat just to... <laughs> to uh, use with an outboard motor that you could get and fix up. Um, let's get started. The uh, marketplace on Facebook has quite a lot of boats. They're free, but the thing about free boats you have to be careful is I say missing free boats have <laughs> three missing T's. Uh, sometimes one, sometimes two, sometimes all three. <laughs> They usually have a missing trailer, and then sometimes a missing title, and sometimes they have a missing transom. It's all it's broken. You got to repair it. And sometimes you're really lucky. They're all three of them missing. <laughs> you're gonna have a lot of work when you get a free boat. There's a saying: the only thing that works on a, on a free boat is the owner. Um, but if you have a boat, you're gonna be working on it anyway. It doesn't matter how much money you spend on it or how old it is. That's what boats are. It's work. If you don't enjoy it you might, not, might as well not get a boat. The very first boat is one of the most interesting ones I saw. It's free and it has a title. So right there you're ahead of the pack. It has an engine too but it doesn't run. But it ran a few years ago. It's just been sitting. It needs to be towed away. No trailer. But since it's already on the water, if you live on the water and where you could uh, just tow it to where you live or you could tow it to a launching ramp where you had a trailer waiting but uh, it's uh, 1987, it's free, and he doesn't have any interior shots of it, any photographs. But from the outside, it looks pretty good, and it did run just a few years ago. It's one of the more interesting uh, boats for free on Facebook at this time. And it's a Bayliner. Now, Bayliners aren't the, the highest priced, most prestigious boats, but I've never met anybody who was a Bayliner owner that wasn't happy as a clam. Um, they're not expensive boats, but people seem to like them. Um, what I'm getting at is if you did fix it up to resell, you wouldn't get as much money as some other boats. Uh, but there, there are no other interior shots. But that's one of the more interesting boats. Here's a boat. It's a free boat. It has a trailer, but it has a broken transom. <laughs> uh, so it's an inboard outboard that's missing the engine. Um, but it does have a trailer. This boat is also pretty interesting. It's a, it's a Rankin, the Seamaster, 19 foot. It has no motor and there is no trailer. But it, it does have a title and the reason it doesn't have the motor is he, he traded away on another boat. So at one time this boat was being used, it just it, it no longer had the motor and then they got rid of the trailer, had to use it for something else. So I think this, this boat, if you just had the, the trailer and the motor, you might not have to spend a lot of time well, compared to a lot of other boats I'm going to show you. It's in Palm City. At the, of course, this was in December, so it's probably gone by now. But don't call don't call these people up if you if you don't see this listing on their site on Facebook don't bother them I don't want you to get me in trouble but uh, it's not a bad looking boat 
and Rankin is a as fairly well known design. Here's the interior. Another th good thing about it is that it's a, a freshwater boat. It doesn't have the saltwater issues. A boat's been sitting in salt water. Everything's going to be gone, but but the fiberglass, the wood will be rotted, and the metal will be corroded, and the wiring will be shot. And but uh, the fresh water, your boat's going to be in much better shape. So that's another interesting boat. Here's <laughs> I like this ad. Free parentheses more parentheses gratis. And you have to put in Latin what free is. It have motor, no trailer, call or text. <laughs> Very short information, but what you see is what you get. It's a free boat, no motor, no trailer, and probably no tidal either. Um, now, when you see a boat like this, it looks pretty awful. But the cool thing, or the bad thing about fiberglass, is if you take some chemicals and a pressure washer, elbow grease, and then some paint and wax, you can make these things look brand new. If they don't, if they haven't been sitting in the water for decades and getting the water blisters, where by uh, they 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 seep through the fiberglass over enough time. Or up north, where the water gets in cracks and you freeze and thaw and freeze and thaw, and they, they delaminate parts of the boat and so on. Fiberglass can last for decades, and that's the problem. If you, if you, you know that if you just clean this off, which wouldn't take a lot of effort, it would look excellent. So then you have to deal with all the other parts. So uh, it's sort of it, it it gets you in the game, but then you get in, uh, there's a lot of work with the rotted wood and the metal parts and so on. But fiberglass, it'll shine up good. So here's a free boat, nice little, I guess it's about 17 foot. Here's an interior shot. But all that dirt and grime, that's the least of your problems. That's the least of your worries. It, it'll shine up. You can get it look good again. But the metal parts, the wiring, the wood and the floorboards and so on, you're going to have trouble. Here's something you don't see very often is a wooden boat for free. Usually wooden boats rot out pretty quick. This is a mullet boat. Um, they changed the, the laws for netting here in Florida. So there's a lot of older boats that were able to continue fish commercially. Um, but this is an interesting boat if you're a woodworker. Um, also, you probably wouldn't put this back in to uh, service as a commercial boat because commercial fishermen are about as frugal as you can get if they can't <laughs> find a way to renew and repurpose their boat to, to make money off of it commercially you probably won't either unless you're in the business but there are things you can you can put like propylene glycol here and stop the rot and cover the bottom with fiberglass or maybe even some ferro cement or something and then put maybe a houseboat top on or or a big top just to take uh, people out on a day day boat rides, and or if you want to experiment with different propulsion systems, like maybe put in a wood burning uh, steam engine, or maybe those producer gases where they run the, the engines off wood. You could do experiments on the water with a very cheap platform, but you're going to need a trailer. This doesn't have a trailer, and it's got some rod in it for sure. But it's all open. You can get to work at on it right away. You can see what needs to be done. Um, it's an interesting boat, free. And this looks pretty interesting at first. It's it's a uh, uh, it's a Mer cruiser. I don't like Mercury engines, um, inboard outboards or, or outboards. To be honest with you. Uh, it's been exposed to the elements for six years, no batteries, haven't run the engine in six years, it's been sitting in a boat lift. From the outside it looks excellent. There's no barnacles or crud on the bottom, there doesn't look like there's any corrosion. It has been running like six years ago and the hull's good. It doesn't look like a bad boat at all. Um, he's willing to sign a notarized bill of sale uh, to make sure you own it, not him, when you take it. <laughs> uh, but when you look at the inside, nice, nice outside. It's tore pretty good. It's like, are there marine beavers? 
Beaver, I hardly know her. Uh, do, 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 do. <laughs> the, uh, you would need to remove a lot of this wood anyway, so they, they did the work for you. But uh, you can see all the interior wood is going to have to be replaced. But the outside, the hull, and maybe even the engine is, is pretty good shape. So if you were a good woodworker, this might be a very interesting boat to look at. And I think he has the title. So for a free boat, that's a pretty interesting situation. But like I said, I just don't like our cruisers, our Mercury. Free boat, come get me. Here's a free boat, but there's two boats hidden in the mist, <laughs> hidden in the, in the jungle. Kima, the right one. Boat shells for free. Come pick up. She calls them shells. <laughs> like she found them on the beach. Yeah. You don't know what you got going there. Here's a 15-foot fiberglass boat. Has a leak in the live well hole. Floor has soft spots. That's because the wood underneath the fiberglass is rotted. So now the fiberglass is soft. So... The floorboards and stuff on a boat aren't that hard to replace. You're not steam bending oak frames and ribs. You're just laying down some planks. The hard part is just getting up the fiberglass shell from the the interior and getting at the wood on the bottom, chucking out those rotted ones, popping in some new ones, fiberglassing them down, putting the shell at the bottom back in, taping it up, and then repainting it, and you're good to go. And it's free. And I like that it has a live well. You don't have a good fishing boat if you don't have a live well. 15 footer. Free. That's a pretty big 15 footer. Here's an interesting boat. Free. 22 foot well craft. Boat has no motor and no out drive. No trailer. Now, does it have a title? He doesn't say. So, whenever you get a boat and if it has a trailer, you want to make real sure if it's painted that there's no way there could be any corrosion underneath that paint. What I'm getting at is you want to be careful sometimes you have box frames on your trailer. I had a trailer one time. I brought it, took the boat home, and a few months later I decided to move the boat from one side of the boat yard to where I lived and apartment building had a little boat yard on the bay and the darn boat just moved it from one side of the boat yard to the other the trailer just collapsed like it was made out of cardboard the inside of that box frame was all rusted out and it was just covered over with a fresh coat of paint so when you have painted trailers you want to make sure underneath the paint there's no rust make sure you have open frames you can look inside and make sure there's no rust um, it's a big drawback so no trailer no, probably no title, no motor. But it doesn't look that bad. You you could maybe put on a bracket and, and throw on a nice outboard and make it into an outboard boat. If you think about it, in one respect, if the motor's gone and they've done the work for you, you can don't have all that work of taking the old motor out. And it still doesn't look bad from for being in an 87, being out there in the sun in Florida. The uh, upholstery is still, well, it's not decent, but <laughs> it's still there. <laughs> this is interesting. You're going to get a lot of people putting stuff that's not free but for a dollar. And you think they're selling it for a dollar. Then when you go read the ad, well, they want to trade or, or they want to get a best offer. And oftentimes they want a lot more money for it than what it's worth. So when you see a dollar, you think, well, that's almost free. But then when you go look at it, but this is a pretty cool little boat. It's a dory, like a lap straight flat bottom, like a dory hull. It's uh, 14 foot, but there's no title. And uh, he wants to make a deal. But I like this boat. It's got a nice shape to it, but um, the trailer looks pretty iffy. Um, it says it'll move it from point A to point B. 
B will be the place where they buried it <laughs> when all the wheels fall off <laughs> going 60 miles an hour. Um, looks bigger than 14 foot. Um, that would make a nice little fishing boat. But like I said, it's not free, it's a dollar. So when you see these things for a dollar, sometimes they want a lot more than a dollar for them. But on the other hand, they're willing to trade. Sometimes you'll have a white element, elephant and you can trade your white elephant for theirs and everybody's happy. <coughs> Excuse me. Hmm. But yeah, that trailer looks pretty bad. Here's a really nice deal. It's kayak. And it just needs a little tape work on the edges, uh, likely from the 90s. Needs outfitting, minor fiberglass work, and edges retaped. Um, it's free. Just put some paint on that; it look brand new. Um, if I live in Jensen Beach and I had a place to keep a kayak, this would be mine. <laughs> uh, so you can get some pretty nice bargains on Facebook. I love this photo. <laughs> 20 foot fiberglass boat, no motor, still available. <laughs> Come get it, it's cool. This boat does have very nice lines. It's a sweet boat. Now I know you look at the, the, the green mole growing on it. That, that stuff will come off in a minute. What you want to do is look at the lines on this boat. Oop. Now the inside, it's got plants growing in it. But you know what? That doesn't bother fiberglass at all. If it's up north, where, like I said, it freezes on and off, or uh, if it was in the water for decades and it's starting to get bubbles filled with water. Uh, but no, sitting out there in the yard, it'll be fine to fix up as far as the fiberglass goes. But you're probably going to have to take the floorboards out and, and get all the stringers done and then beef up the transom. And I would put on a bracket and put on outboard. But look at the lines on that boat. That's a sweet boat. That's a husky little boat. You could take that out in the ocean. Out of all the boats today we're going to see on for free, this is probably the the most well designed one I've seen. I like it a lot. You see a lot of um, tri hull boats, and those were extremely popular when I was young, when I was a kid. They're very stable. But as time goes by, the engines and the trailer are missing and they just sit there and it's time to come give them away for free. Um, but most of them have been used in the lakes and in the fresh water here in Florida. They're in good shape. Oh, this one doesn't look too good, guys. It's for free, but no title. It's project, the transom needs repaired and it needs a trailer. So three T's and you're out. No trailer, no title, no transom. I think we can find a better one. Sorry, Mr. Boat. Here's another one that had a top at one time. It's kind of a big boat. Up in Jacksonville. It doesn't have the top at the moment. I guess it's sitting in the boat. Oh, there it is. Um, but it's missing a few things. Here's an interesting one. Not only do you have a car, not only do you have a boat, but you have a car. <laughs> boat for free. Car 200 or best offer. Boat is really old. <laughs> First come, first serve. Okay, let's. <laughs> it's got a little forest growing. Uh, oh, let's see what we got here. Oh, it's got a neon. Actually, the neon wasn't a bad little car. Dodge. This looks like maybe second generation. Let's see. Yeah, I think it might be. Paint this pretty shot. And it's got a broken leg. <clears throat> so. But if you're a mechanic, 200 bucks and a boat. There you go. Plus, you can do your landscaping with all the plants that are growing in the boat. <laughs> Speaking of landscaping, if you do get a boat and you live on a lake or a river someplace, you might need a, a dock. Here are some dock floats. They're not free, but $1. You can't beat that. Call Tim. 
and if you're working on your boat which I know you're going to be doing you're going to need some shade here's a free tree <laughs> you must be able to dig it up and take them yourself well damn there's there's more than one so you can get more than one palm tree you just have to dig them up and take them and tell you what digging up trees and balling those roots I've done that when I was a kid working in a plant nursery that's the hardest work I ever did we would just use planks to you dig around the roots then use planks to pry them up get cut the tap root root put some burlap around the big ball and then tow it away that was hard work two project boats must pick up no trailers or titles need gone as soon as possible here's a white one with the forest here's a blue one <coughs> excuse me hmm. no titles I kinda like the blue one no you know just because these are motorboats that doesn't mean they have to stay motorboats you can put sails on some motorboats I will have some information about that at the end of the video also because something is an inboard you could put it an outboard on it. Doesn't have to always be a inboard, although these are both outboards. Well, guys, those were the boats this last month on Facebook for free. Let's talk real quick about some information that might help you fix up your boats. Here's three books that I like a lot. You can get at your library for free. If they don't have it in your local library, or in the other libraries in your county system almost every library has what's called an interloan library system where they can get books from other libraries and these are older books so there won't be like a long waiting list of people that are wanting to see them so you probably shouldn't have a hard time getting them if not you can get them on on Amazon I'll leave links in the video description but this is a very good manual I've, I've looked at it used it before on fiberglass repair this one it says fiberglass boat restoration but really <coughs> excuse me <coughs> um, the author Wayne Canning he really wrote this book about project planning not so much as the actual repair process you a lot of times people have projects started and they never finish them it's not because they don't know how to do something or they don't have access to the material even the money it's just they ran out of time or they're not able to 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 use their time wisely on fixing their boat this book is excellent on helping you figure out how much time things are going to take and how to allot that time wisely make the project run smoothly and also what to do when you run out of steam and and lose hope and <laughs> you need some inspiration it's it's actually it doesn't have a lot of stars but I like it it's a good book on planning not so much on the actual process of, of redoing boats this is the best one if pictures worth a thousand words this one has a lot of pictures it's very helpful uh, for fiberglass repair and most boats will be fiberglass although a, mo a lot of the boats will be doing some woodwork making the stringers new again this is the best book of them all. Uh, Max did an amazing job. This, if you buy this book, you're going to want to go and get you an old outboard and fix it up. And once you do, you're going to want to get an old boat and and fix it up. This is the this is the start of the disease of fixing up old boats. Is this book right here? It's a wonderful book. And there's tons of old outboards out there that are just sitting there that people aren't doing anything with. That you can get very reasonably priced that will um, give you a lot of fun on your boat won't be a new engine but but you'll be able to work on it yourself I love this book now if you get an old fiberglass boat it, a lot of times they're going to have an inboard and it could be a pain to put in a new engine and everything a new shaft and prop so a lot, what a lot of people do is they put brackets on their boats and this is the fanciest most expensive uh, sophisticated bracket you're going to find um, one example but you can also on small boats you can make your own bracket you don't have to uh, spend a lot of money um, there's also metal brackets you sometimes can get used that will hold a lot heavier boat uh, outboard motors and 
it's not that difficult to process. You all you're all you're doing is is plugging up the hole where the old outboard inboard drive was, and then fiberglassing it over, and beefing up your transom. And here's some more views of different brackets you can get. I've seen some houseboats that the inboard outboard was removed, and the boats were bought very inexpensively, and they put on some rather small outboards with a bracket, and they had a ball. They weren't able to get up on a plane, but they were able to travel around inexpensively, low power with a uh, uh, inexpensive motor. And the bracket also allows you to stand out there and work on your outboard. Um, although if you're someplace and <laughs> if you're anchored next to shore and your anchor's drifting and you're trying to fix your outboard and it's nighttime and you've got a flashlight in one hand, an inboard's a lot easier to work on than an outboard. But um, you pay your money, you take your choices. Also, a lot of, we didn't dis discuss sailboats at all in this video, but you can also convert a lot of sailboats that are old and you get for almost nothing into motorboats. The people who love sailing will look down their nose at you and call you names, but you're going to have a ball. Here's a few examples of little sailboats that people have turned into motorboats. Um, sometimes they keep a small sail, turn into a motor sailor. Here's a little aluminum skiff. He's using a, 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 a oar for a steering oar, which works rather well. Here's a little Hobie cat somebody made into a little catamaran dinghy. This is a Rogues 19 somebody put a little diesel engine in. This is a McGregor. It comes this way. <laughs> It'll sail like a bandit and also go uh, 12 knots with uh, the inboard. Here's a uh, big sailboat. Somebody has basically turned into a motorboat. It's got a small riding sail aft like a trawler. Here looks like a 23 foot. I don't know what that is, but they've made it into a nice little motorboat with a big uh, awning over the top to keep shade on the cockpit and the cabin. And you probably draw like two and a half feet, three feet. Sometimes you can find twin keel sailboats that will dry out when the, when the water goes out, make excellent little motorboats. And the Westerlies come with big honking, what, 27 horsepower diesel. Uh, so you can go anywhere in those things. Here's another nice little motorboat from a sailboat. So guys, we're getting to the end here. Just remember, the only thing that works on a free boat will be the owner. <laughs> you got a lot of work, but it's free. Um, I hope you like this video. I think if you like this video, I might do some more free things on the internet. See what happens. Maybe I'll do one every month. I'll go on Facebook and, and uh, maybe Craigslist and the other sites and see what's out there just for fun. We can talk about them. And if you're interested in fixing up boats, those books I recommend you get from the library. I'll leave links in the video description. Don't forget, I put on new videos every week. And I got a bunch of cool people, no relation to me, that I think need more views. You could you should check them out. I got a ton of playlists. Got oh, almost 700 videos now. Do one every week for about the, over 10 years now. And I'll just about every subject. So, guys, hope you liked that little video. Free boats on Facebook in Florida. I'll be doing more free stuff next month. All right, guys, take care. Happy New Year. See you out there.